Welcome back to Resident Evil 3, where we left off, the nemesis was hot on our tails with a newly acquired flamethrower, which I have no idea where we got that from. Oh dear, hello boys. See if I can get rid of you. I don't know if it's worth it or not. It's definitely not. Oh, these big ones always dodge your bullets better. This is terrible. Surely if I drag them a bit further... Oh no, they're just turning around. That's not how food works, boys. I bet there's nothing even here, is there? So I've just wasted a good amount of bullets just, just for no reason whatsoever. Oh, dude. Come on, bro. Wait, is he down there? Oh, he's there. I gotta get out. Oh, shit. Quick. He doesn't give a darn to. He is destroying this place. I mean, it looks already destroyed anyway, but... He be destroying it even more. Oh, dude, come on. Let me have some peace, man. Oh my god, no. Apparently not. He just likes to torch the place. Chill. Come on. You're faster than that. I know you are. Oh, did you look at that? Hello, sir. Oh, I'm on fire. This dude is a unit machine. Oh, the fires just keep on coming. Oh, damn. Almost, Jill. Almost. Right, so apparently we can save here. Okay. Notice of demolition delay. We have decided to delay the Bambi office dem uh, building demolition in response to ongoing public unrest. For safety reasons, all electrical equipment, including generators, have been moved to the roof. Entry to the premises is prohibited until the current unrest has subsided. All employees have to stay home and await further instructions. Okay, so we have the roof apparently full of generators. Uh, we have first aid, we've got some shotgun shells. Handgun ammo. I'm not going to take the launcher with me because, again, I'm trying not to use that as much right now. Okay. I feel like we're going to... Oh, yeah. Shit goes down. That's all I'm going to say. There he is. Beat the creature. Maybe I can hit them. Oh dear, dear God. Can't see where he is. Dude, oh hey sir. Okay, no, he doesn't like that. Oh, that was close. I've got a feeling there's ammo and shit about, but I just don't know where. Will it show me on here? No. No, it will not. I can see a red herb over there. I think he's got some ammo with it. Oh. Let me... No, it's just a red herb. Oh, there's explosive rounds. There's ammo there. Okay. Kicking? Oh dear, I feel like that's not a good sign. I dodged him. Fucking hell, I did a dodge. Oh. That looked like it hurt him. That was not a good dodge, but apparently I dodged it. Oh, I need to run. I need to run. I need to run. 
Oh, I'm on fire. That was not a good place to stand, Jill. I need to heal quickly before it hits me again. No, that was not a good idea. I'm dead. No? No. Oh. Definitely thought I would have been. Uh, combine that with that and use it, please. Do I just hit him a few times with a shotgun? Well, there's one. That seemed to hurt him. Aha! Fuck you, bitch. Screw you, mate. Jeez. My word. Well, that was close. And I have a feeling my handgun ammo has been depleted. Yes, sir. Well, I'm hoping we don't see him for a while. 32, well, 37, Carlos, 47. It's Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You alright? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Oh, thought there'd be ammo in there. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. <sighs> don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Didn't do it for you, man. Didn't do it for you. Oh, ammo, thank you. It's like the game knew. It's like the game knew I'd be out of ammo. Or low on ammo anyway. Ooh. Wait, is that the police department? I swear that's police department. Yeah, because that's where Leon comes out of the, the underground car park. Oh. I wonder if that construction... Well, obviously it's going to be, because this is set before Resident Evil 2. Spencer Memorial. Okay, that was weird. I'm pretty sure that's a, a little Easter egg to, to one of the future games or previous games. I don't know exactly which one, but I know the, the Spencer Memorial. Because I know the, the first game you're at the Spencer Mansion. That must have some sort of relation, surely. Alright, I'm just going to try and not take use bullets on the enemies because I don't think I need to and there's a lot of room I can just run about. Oh dear. Dude, they're not open, bro. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, this is... Yeah, the gun shop because with Leon and Ada, you go into that, that sewer over there. That's pretty cool. That's goddamn pretty cool if you ask me. Okay, so let's see if he's in here still. Kendo? Kendo, where's your guns? I'll take all the stuff though, Kendo, thank you. Oh. Semi-auto barrel. Okay, so I'm going to assume this makes the gun take up two slots. Yes. Okay, I say yes like a good thing, but it's definitely not a good thing. Definitely not a good thing. I'm going to create as much shotgun ammo as I can. Because I have none. Uh, that will create flame rounds, which is very useful. Kaboom! Shit, Jill. Oh. Kendo, you're alright. You're yeah, alright to stretch. Sorry, I got hey, a little Kendo man. There. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. 
You win? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just, uh, just bad timing is all. Well. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's, that's your job, right? Uh, take care, Jill. Now, I know... If you listen closely to if his room, I'll go closer. Station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. So his daughter's still in there, but obviously with Leon and Ada, you see her, you physically see her. Here, you can just kind of hear. Right, so I've, I'm going to go to the chest. I didn't see that before. Have I got... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put that away, that away. That's going to get used anyway. I'm going to take... Uh, I want to take a mixture of red and... Red and green seems to be... I'm pretty sure that's the strongest that would full, fully heal you. Because I know three greens fully heals you. Two greens doesn't fully. I know red does. He better not be alive still. And if he is, he better not uh, catch up to me anytime soon. I want a little break from that piece of shit. You're definitely not going to die. Yep, yeah, or not. Oh, we've got one of those ones, have we? Dude, you need to just slow down, son. Oh. I didn't know it could do that. Not from that far, anyway. Okay, that was weird. Shave should be a little vagina thing on my head. Go on. Get out of here. Piece of shit. Right. Wait, can I get rid of that key? Yes, I can. That attack got me on caution. Are you taking the piss? Oh, God, here we go again. How are you supposed to open its face thing up? That thing. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. I don't know if there's a way to get it to, to definitely open in one hit or not. Or you have to just shoot it a few times until it does. Raccoon Times, read a column. I'm writing to you because I'm troubled. Deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows the Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a, a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no more popular or harder on parents wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that the wine on on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles, like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to just wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll, then let it be the manager's. Take a take that death trap down. So he seems to think that massive head that is terrifying seems to be loose. Well, well, well. Oh, not what I wanted. I mean, I'll take it, but it's not what I wanted. I'm still wondering when we can get rid of the lockpick. Probably won't be for a while. Where are we? Oh, come on. He's still on fire, for God's sake. And now he's got a rocket launcher. Jesus Christ. Really? Well, that hit me right in the booty. That also hit me right in the booty. So how many shots can he take? Straight, I've got no healing stuff. I'm dead. I may die here, just saying. 
Oh, and he's uh, running after me instead. Right, what is that? Wait, what? Right, okay. I have no idea what I just died from. I was running, and I just stopped. And just fell to the floor. The zombie to the left didn't touch me. I dodged his attack, because you could see with the, mo the, uh, the animation on the screen. So I am confused at what hit me there. I am confused to shit. Right, so either way... Do I just use this on you? Oh. I don't know if there is a way to, to defeat them quickly or not. Uh, either way, I'm gonna just quickly go through here. Get what I need and run. Give me that. I'll just take that just in case. I don't need it, but hey, help. Uh, let me discard that. And we are good to go. Good to go, my friend. There's no hidden items around here before I continue, is there? No. No, 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 no. So you basically just need to dodge left and right with his rockets. But I thought when it turned red, it meant it was locked on. Ah, I don't know. That laser's cool though. Really? Right, okay. I'm hoping that rocket destroys zombies as well. He has no idea what he's letting himself in for. He can't hit me from that angle. Dude's too far back. Oh. Suddenly a car blew up. How convenient. That is not the time to be answering a call, Jill. Not the time. Are you shitting me? I thought you killed him. Me oh too. my word. This guy just doesn't give a fuck, does he? Surely if I just run, he can't hit me. Did that hit me or did it happen? Oh. That's really cool. The slow animation of the rocket was really cool. Those textures took a while to load in there, didn't they? God damn. Oh, not more scaffolding. We know what happened last time with scaffolding, Jill. Right, so I've got a first aid spray. Is that all for this bit? Uh, apparently so. Wait, what was the X on there? What's that? Why has that got an X on it? Is there a legend where I can see what's what? No. Hmm. I don't know what that X is. Scaffolding never ends well with Jill. Jill, you there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. Head back towards the station. And lead him right to you? It's okay. Trust me. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Oh, well, he's definitely going to appear here, isn't he? That's the creepy head the uh, the article was on about. Oh, would you look at that? That's what he was concerned about. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a scary scene. That's a scary picture. So where did he shoot that from then? I'm gonna run. Ah. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't like how fast he runs. Do not like. Oh dear. Where the hell did he jump?
Where did he jump to? Fair play. Come on then, Carlos. Alright, speed demon. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. I cannot see your face. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah. Wait. And you'll be safe. Can I go up here? Have the barricaded the doors. Ah, the barricaded the doors. We can use this still though. Uh, so I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna keep that on me. I'm gonna put those away for now. Uh, with all the room, do I keep it on me with some flame rounds? Yes or no? I'll have four spare fives. I'll only have three spare slots then. Hmm. It's got two rounds in it. If I just take it, reload it, how many can it fit in? Six, okay. So what I'll do is I'll just put those back as well. So I've got... So I've still got... Four slots, okay. That seems fair. It's just in case. Just in case I need them. Where did he go? Hey, sir. Don't leave without me. What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, oh, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. So he ain't catching the train. But it's a really cool reason why. So let's see what the people have to say now. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bard. This isn't the last man at a town. Nathaniel right? Bard. Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not gonna die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? Oh You're my lonely. god. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. The sarcastic clap. Let's go! September 29th, 2.11 a.m. Subway car. You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I have a done good authority. Uh, why? Uh, are you worried about teammates? Or something else? I'm worried that he's gonna shoot him. Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny, the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, my word. How is this fucker not dead yet? Just know they're gone. Go this way. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after you. <laughs> oh my word. Get off my train. Shit, bird. Jesus. 
Jesus. What a hero. Now this is why Carlos went, because he gets to go back to the RPD. Oh, it's been a while. Subway's gotta be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. So obviously this is where Resident Evil 2 took place. But, as I said, this is before Resident Evil 2, so this is before Leon's gone through the, right. the police station. Keep your head on, Romeo. This is the police station. But sure? we do have an assault like rifle. A cemetery to me. It's not ominous. Brad, stop! Brad? See? Oh Come shit! On, man. Not you too. Oh, what's his face? Sorry. Sorry. What? Okay, I have I have like six things to say about this. One, that's Marvin Brenner out Resident Evil 2. That's how he got bit. That's Brad, obviously, from the start of the game. But Brad, the zombie just spoke. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. He just spoke. I'm gonna get soft. The zombie just spoke. Right, I don't like how many bullets Brad is taking. He's like a super zombie. No, I have to finish him, bro. I'm not leaving Brad out here. He's one tough fucking zombie, though. I'll give you that. Okay. Is he dead? ID card. Stars. That could be useful. Sorry, Brad. Just making sure you're dead, bro. Where'd oh, and here go? we are. Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. Our intel's still worth a damn. So even this is still. This. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody. I thought this was a rescue. Carlos, take a look at this. I'm yes, located sir. in Star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Oh, yeah, you get the nice cozy, uh, hey. job. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Okay, thank God Carlos has the samurai edge as well. Okay, so yeah, this is literally the exact same police station just before Leon gets to it. So it's, it's covered as well. So you can't actually use the uh, underground bit. Let's go see what's upstairs. Even the statue's covered. The area looks clear. So you've got to wonder who the hell uncovers it for Leon to to do it. Now here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. We're here for Bard. I wonder if you can get the keys. There's got to be items around here, surely. I think in the second one there's handgun ammo on that little table. So we can't go through the doors, obviously, without keys, but I don't know if we can get the keys on it. I don't think you can. Let's go see what this way is. I know that this door doesn't have... Oh, it's blocked. Oh, ammo. Thank you. So who the hell unblocks it for when Leon gets here, then? Who uncovers everything? It's like it was all set out purposefully. Alright, okay. So these doors are locked. That shutter you can't open. This main hall is now green, which means I have everything I need. So, that's... Wait, I want to look at what this is. Brad's ID card. It's 
Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Okay, that is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next. Cheers for watching, guys.